Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Before we get started on the meat and potatoes of this video, I want to announce the winner of the 25,000 subscriber giveaway. That is a net tool. And that winner of the net tool is David Anderson. So David Anderson, please reach out to me and uh, I will get that net tool to you. So tonight what we're going to talk about, it's actually a continuation of the Dehua Hike Vision uh, saga. So the saga continues, and I, this is going to go on for a while because this, this is a pretty big deal, right? So in the last video, we talked about the national defense budget that's waiting for the president's signature, and once that happens, it will ban federal installations of Dehua and Hike Vision camera systems, security products, but then also uh, anything that or any company they OEM for. So, you know, you saw Panasonic on the list. You know, how many other big names do they they OEM for? Um, so it's going to have a huge effect, a huge ripple effect. It, it is going, you know, if I'm like, if I'm like Axis or Rio Link or uh, because Rio Link doesn't appear to be banned and I don't believe that either of these two companies OEM for them from what I can find. But if I'm like Axis, I'm like, I'm like salivating, I'm like drooling because I know now that all of these um, federal government installations are going to be taken out. And, it, and it's going to filter down to the state and local level, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. We saw it with Kaspersky. So um, it's going to be really interesting to see how that, that all plays out. But make no doubt about it, it's going to be hugely disruptive, it's going to be hugely expensive. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on this. And a couple of things that happened since that last video. Um, as far as my interaction with folks, so let's let's take a look. So uh, I had somebody um, who is a Dehua Gold Star uh, partner reach out to me. Now I've redacted their information from here. I wanted to protect their identity, but Dehua sent this out to their dealers, and they have a a statement that says that they are not government owned and. Uh, they talk about the Congress passing the NDAA, and that's going, you know, for signature. I'll have to look and see if it's signed yet. There's been a lot happening. Um, I was assuming I would be getting more emails if uh, the president had signed that. But you can see right here uh, that Dehua says they are not a government-owned entity. That's not the case for Hike Vision, but for Dehua, um, they are claiming to be not a government-owned entity. They go in, they talk about their cybersecurity and all these other things they do and about how they are committed to the North American market. Um, I mean, I even use Dehua. They have a great 30 and 40 times optical zoom IP camera. I mean, on the top of a building, I can literally see in the daylight. This is not a, a, a license plate recognition camera, but in the daylight, I can see a city block and pick up cars, people, uh, you know, license plates. So, that, I mean, they, they have good stuff. But they have they are specifically telling people that they are not government-owned. They're trying to get out in front of that. It's very smart on their part because if you're in the private sector, you're under no direct obligation to rip this stuff out and replace it. Now, like I said, there's going to be a ripple effect. So people are going to get pressured. People are going to get questioned. There's going to be all kinds of fallout from this uh, if the president does sign it. And if he's signed it, if you know if he's signed it, uh, put that down in the comments, would you? So then what happened was we uh, had talked about the website IPVM. Now, maybe I put the cart before the horse. Uh, I'm not apologizing for that. Um, when I run into a paywall right away, I am I am quick to quick to judge. Um, probably because I give away so much um, of my content, so it probably jades my my view a little bit. But the editor of IPVM uh, reached out to me. So let's take a look at this email. Um, started out, his name is uh, John uh, Honovich. Honovich. I'm not 100% sure on the uh, pronunciation, but we've been emailing back and forth. And so he, re he reached out. Willie, my name is John. I'm the editor of IPVM. I enjoyed your video on the Congress ban of Dehu and Hike Vision. If we can provide any information or help in the future, let me know. Also, would you like a free year membership to IPVM? So I thought about it and I thought, well, if they can do something for you, 
uh, the subscriber as well, then, uh, yeah, I would take the year. So I wrote him back and I said, thanks for reaching out. I am going to do a follow-up communication that Dahua sent out to their partners. Is there any chance you can give me a discount code for my viewers if they want to get a subscription? If you can do that, I would be okay taking the year subscription. Thanks again. So uh, John wrote back and he said, yes, you can give them a discount code. Your personal code is. So I'm going to take that code. And if you want to join IPVM, it's going to give you 10% off um, and then gives me a 10% credit. What I'm going to do with that credit, I don't know. I don't know what that credit allows me to do. So I'm going to have to reach into that a little bit uh, further. This will be the first time um, that I've joined an organization like like this. And they uh, we're going to take a look at what they do. Now, this is not a, necessarily an endorsement of them. You need to look at IPVM, make your own choice. We have just started this uh, relationship. And, um, you know, for... Uh, for me to even think about taking that for a year, I wanted them to do something for you. And you can see um, what they did. So, and uh, he did mention the Dehua letter because it declares they are not government owned. And they did uh, research, and that's what IPVM does. And we're going to get into that. And then he was uh, kind enough to embed my uh, video in the members comment section, section of the uh, Congress band. So I'm going to I'm going to put this link in there if you're interested with signing up. With IPVM, you can at least get 10% off. Um, so let's, uh, real quick, we'll pull up IPVM, and we'll take a look at, at what they are here. So what they do is they are former integrators, and they actually uh, write white papers. They test products, and they specifically, um, they concentrate just on security and video surveillance. So that's their entire wheelhouse and so you know, right here they're a team of 11 engineers developers and a support manager and so they take gear they take everything they test it they run uh, or they write reports they do comparisons and they do all that stuff so I'm gonna be poking through the IP VM site to see what kind of stuff I can extract and use and bring to you in videos um, where you know maybe I don't have the equipment to test some things, but I'm definitely going to dig into IPVM since I have that. And if you're interested, make sure you use that 10% off. Um, and let yeah, referred by Willie Howe, sign up now to save uh, 10%. So I don't know if I'm the first uh, referral, but that's kind of cool. I just noticed I'm pointing like, but uh, I just noticed that that that's on the about page. Referred by Willie Howe, sign up now, save 10%. So they. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so check it out. I'm going to check it out. But we are going to monitor this. Uh, oh, real quick. I wanted There was something else in that email that I wanted to talk about. What? Uh, in the bill, in the defense spending bill, what um, John points out to me is that the bill cites companies the gover government believes to be an entity owned or controlled or otherwise connected to. So there's some other important language in that defense spending bill. So all, all the United States government needs is a suspicion that these companies are connected to the Chinese uh, government and they can uh, carte blanche block. So I'm not I'm not saying it's good, bad, or indifferent at this point, but I can see it from both sides. I can see both both sides because, of course, I invest, have a vested interest as an American in this. I also have a vested interest as a technologist in this from, you know, so I, as an American, I see it one way. As a technologist, I see it another way. I have to take those, those views and blend it as a, a small business owner. Um, and, you know, someone who lives in IT and does IT security and physical security. Um, I, I have all these different viewpoints. And so, like I said, like I, I don't have a definitive thing that I want to say about this right now that I either agree with it or disagree with it. But I think that other camera manufacturers, other integrators will be able to take advantage of this. And there's going to have to be dollars spent, right? So... We're going to see an uptick in some of this 
when those insulations start, you know, getting ripped out. So I want to thank John over at IPVM. Uh, I, he really didn't have to do that. He didn't have to extend the olive branch. He did, and he also extended that to you. Uh, but I am going to be posting, you know, videos from there often. But we are going to keep really tracking um, this Dehua Hike Vision thing. Out of that whole list of partners that that were banned, like I don't have any Hawaii switches. Uh, I I quoted some ubiquity switches in a project for a video game uh, programming company uh, for a, you know a video game studio. I I quoted uh, ubiquity switches against Huawei. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that properly. And as far as ZTE goes, uh, both of those companies, I am 100% sure that their technology impacts me every day. But off the top of my head, without digging into it, I can't tell you uh, where that's at. However, Hike Vision and Dahua for me, much more visible, much more out on the, the front lines. I have Hike Vision and Dahua installations. Now, they are locked down. The cameras, somebody said, it was funny, somebody posted on the last video, uh, just don't put a default gateway in. Well, when you have to actually talk to cameras from other networks and things like that, that doesn't work. It'll work on a small LAN if you're only going to access the cameras from inside or if you've got a a VPN directly into that network, then that would probably work. If there's something in the firmware and you don't put a gateway in there, it's maybe possible that it could figure it out anyway. I mean, this is 2018 and it's software and it's spying. I, I'm not I'm not ruling anything out. But uh, when we put when we put these other systems in, there are firewall rules that actually block them from being able to get to the internet. So it's not like I've just set this device out there and was like, oh, maybe it won't get to the internet. No, I'm stopping it at the gateway. So I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent concerned. I do have some concerns, even uh, with that setup. Now that this has this has uh, come to light and the, the things are going to be, you know, pressing on this because we're all going to have to make a decision about this at some point. But we are going to keep. Uh, tracking this as news comes out, I will be posting new videos on this, and there will be uh, some content from IPVM as well. So thank you for listening to me rant about Dehua Hike Vision. I think this is a really, really big deal. It's going to impact a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of money spent. Um, and as somebody pointed out in the comments, this could be primarily about money because if you want to look at security and actual security, there should be more than four vendors on this list and different protocols and all kinds of things. So what is this? I don't know. Wag the dog. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want to talk to us on Discord, the link's down there. Hop on over. Charlie's our admin. He does a fantastic job. If you want to buy any of the gear that you see here on the channel, that Amazon link is down below. If you want to join IPVM, check them out. I'll put that 10% discount link down there. Um, once again, thank you very much for being here. And David Anderson, don't forget to reach out to me. And as always, I will see you in the next video.